New this morning, police are investigating a deadly crash on I-265. Police say it happened around 3 o'clock this morning at the Blue Church Road exit. Now, they say two people were in a pickup truck heading north when the driver lost control and hit an unoccupied car that was parked in the emergency lane. The passenger in that truck died at the scene. The driver was taken to University Hospital with serious injuries. And Louisville fire investigators are working out the cause of a massive fire in the Highlands that caused this an apartment complex completely burnt to the ground. You can see some of the damage left over the charred remains of the building. The cars outside fire crews say it happened around three o'clock in the morning Friday on Douglas Boulevard. The residents escaped the flames, but one woman did fall and hurt herself on the way out. The BHAS 11's Alexis Jones shows us how the community is rallying around her. Years of memories. That's what matters right there. Now dwindle down to one box. It's like your life's been erased. There are no words when you lose everything you ever had. Lisa Duvall says she was sitting at her living room early Friday morning when she noticed a burning smell coming from the back of her apartment. I sat there for a second and I thought something's not right. And um, I got up and I went to open the door, which would go into my kitchen area in the back of the house. And it hit me the smoke it was jet black and the smoke just rushed in on me and um, I flew back and I slammed the door shut and I knew then it was my house was on fire. She immediately grabbed her dog and started to run towards the stairs. That's when she says she slipped and broke her arm. Lisa eventually managed to make it outside only to find the entire building engulfed in flames. I never seen such a blaze. I never seen such a fire. I mean, I, I can't believe I, I, I can't believe I got out. According to Louisville Fire Department, it took a major effort to stop the fire from spreading to other buildings. Even while in pain, Lisa says she tried to help. I was like, it's getting to the other buildings. It's getting to the other buildings and they'd run on this side and they'd try to hose it and then they'd run on the other side. But sadly, they were unable to savage Lisa's home and belongings, including hers and her downstairs neighbor's cars. I'm afraid to look under the top. Since the fire, she's been picking up the pieces with loved ones by her side. Her nephew, Leon Ward, says neighbors have also stepped in with a GoFundMe. We've had very great success with it so far, but so much more is needed when you, know, when you lose everything. You know, it takes a lot to, to recoup. In Louisville, Alexis Jones, WHAS 11 on your side. If you would like to donate to Lisa's GoFundMe, you can find the link on our website, whas 11com more local news now. Jefferson Town Police are looking for a driver who threw three kilograms of cocaine out of their car. Now, in a post on Facebook, officers say they attempted to pull over a vehicle on I-265 near Taylorsville Road at 1.30 Wednesday morning. The person driving that car fled from police, throwing a bucket from, outside, from inside their car. Now, inside that bucket was $300,000 worth of cocaine. As of right now, no arrests have been made. The man accused of killing two people and wounding four others outside Southern Restaurant over a month ago has pleaded not guilty. Arthur Simpson turned in the gun used in that shooting to police back on August 30th. In a taped statement, police say Simpson told them he was working as security at the restaurant and was the male shooter seen on the surveillance video. In court on Saturday, Simpson pled not guilty to two counts of murder and four counts of assault. A judge set his bond at $1 million. LMPD says they are still investigating that case. And it was a matchup 36 years in the making. Louisville and Indiana certainly lived up to the hype out at Lucas Oil Stadium. WHAS 11's Kent Spencer was there and shows us how the cards held off the Hoosiers in a defining defensive stand. Well, if you're only going to play once in what was supposed to be a three game series, this was about as good as you can get for the cards. It came down to a crucial fourth down stop and for the Indiana Hoosiers, a questionable play call on that same fourth down. Yeah, didn't work. So yeah, obviously we should have done something else. <laughs> I guess how, you know, we all would think the same exact way, but uh, that's, I don't second guess that. I mean, goodness, you gotta just execute. You've got the ball on the six inch line, you know, knock them off the football and go score. We got in there. So because of the stem and movement, we got in there quick, um, penetrated and stopped the, you know, uh, the run. I was, I was expecting to sneak, but I just had to play, play my keys and I seen the hand on offense. Then that's when we went and made a play together. 
Jack Plummer's legs aren't talked about much, but he ran for 42 yards against the Hoosiers. 20 of those came on a crucial third and nine with a few minutes to play. If that's something I have to do, that's something I will do for the team. Obviously, I don't, um, I don't major in that, but um, it's, it's, it's something, I, you know, I'm not Lamar, I'm not Malik Cunningham, so, um, but yeah, it's something I think that I can do. This marked the end of what was supposed to be a three game series after the Hoosiers decided to cut it two games short. We've uh, added four teams to this conference um, that has changed the landscape of, of the Big Ten. And I believe that, uh, um, you know, we have to adjust accordingly. And to me, that's just, uh, we have to do what's best for our football program. Everybody's got to do what's best for them. I know from, from my standpoint, it's always been, uh, we love playing in-state rivalries. Uh, we love playing regional games. Uh, it's not only great for the players, but it's more importantly great for the fans. For Louisville, they are now 3-0, and and the Cards will head back to LNN Stadium next week against Boston College. As for Indiana, they fall to 1-2 and on the season. Reporting at Lucas Oil Stadium, Kent Spencer, WHAS 11 News.